Hi Kevin, how's it going? This is Shami with Southtown Hyundai. I just wanted to do a little quick walk around for you on this 2015 Ford Focus ST we've been chatting about. Um, I did just take this thing for a spin and uh, it is pretty fun, I gotta say. A really nice manual transmission too, so you can kind of get through the gears pretty quickly. But um, just want to give you a little outside walk around for now. And if you do see right there, you do have a second set of tires and rims. And they are the original Ford rims. And that's for your summer and your winters. So that's kind of a nice touch. This color really is nice too. It does pop. But honestly, when it comes to like imperfections, I don't really see any. Especially when it comes to any kind of dents or dings. Tire tread, might as well show you that really quick. It's very healthy. I know it might be hard to see in there, but uh, definitely do have quite a bit of tread and that will be on the safety inspection as well. Front end, you got the really nice LED lights, so they definitely do light up the road pretty well. This one also does have the fog lights in front. I believe it does also have the block heater. But as you'll see, the back is currently fold it down to accommodate those tires but you do have a power driver's seat you have your automatic controls right right on the door there your unlock all right now inside kind of always like the Ford uh, gauges really nice and clean easy to see uh, but you also see right here you do have this kind of a system information you can go through different uh, Different menu options, uh, kind of get the trip information settings, there's vehicle history report as well. Um, but one really cool thing I do like as well is just here on the bottom, when it is time to, 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 to shift uh, into the next gear, it'll actually tell you. So it'll give you a little notification saying, hey, it's time to shift up or shift down. Um, so that's something that I really did like. You have your fuel temperature and your oil temp gauges right there. This one does have the upgraded Sony sound system. Nice touchscreen. This is the Microsoft Sync system. I have owned quite a few Fords myself, uh, Kevin, so I am pretty familiar with uh, everything you can do on this. Like you can adjust the climate. Uh, you can you can pretty much do everything hands-free, and it's actually intuitive and easy to do. Um, but you also do have heated seats. You have a heated uh, steering wheel. There's that nice six-speed manual. You'll see right there your heated seats. This one has the navigation. It also has, let me just do this one-handed, pop it into reverse. It does have the backup camera as well. Uh, so it is really nice, nice big screen, and you'll see that uh, it is adaptive. So when I do turn my wheel, you will notice that the lines do change, so it really does give you some true feedback. Um, other than that, let's see here, you do have a nice sunroof. Now this one does have a CompuStar car starter that was uh, on the key fob. And sorry if my video is all over the place here. But right there. Now we don't verify, um, or sorry, we don't warranty any starter that was you know installed previously. But I did check it and it does work. Uh, so it's kind of a shame to, to, you know, uh, to kind of throw those things out. So we do leave them in there. Um, you'll notice that uh, your controls for your trunk, uh, your lights is just kind of up here in this corner. But you do have your steering uh, hands-free controls as well. So this is going to be to go through your menu options. This is your cruise control settings and obviously your volume settings and your sync setting. So why don't we try something right now? Please say a command. Set temperature 22 degrees. Try saying a device. Climate set temperature 22 degrees. Did you say 22 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 22 degrees. Just that easy. Hey. Okay. All right. Now I am going to attempt to do a little bit of a test drive in this thing one handed. <laughs> All right. So I will say one thing, taking this on the highway, it does handle really well. 
Handles really well. The brakes definitely are pretty healthy. It was not easy to, uh, or not hard, sorry, to, to come to a stop pretty quick. And I mean, with this engine too, being the EcoBoost, I mean, you really have to do watch it because there's lots of torque. Yeah, pretty problem free. Nice and easy. It's the clutch is pretty easy to modulate too. Um, it's you know you know how some vehicles like especially Hondas have kind of a a pretty tough uh, clutch point, but this one is really nice and smooth, and it'll actually feel similar to your uh, to your Volkswagen because I know the Audi Volkswagen clutches tend to feel a little heavy, a little solid. This one does feel that way, but just not as intense. So you can see it's a really, really nice field of vision. Let me pop that into neutral. But yeah, let me do a little uh, walk around back on the outside. So there it is. It does have the smart access, by the way. So you don't need to take your keys out of your pocket. It is all push button start. And that was just a warning to say that the uh, keys left the vehicle. But super, super clean car. I think you're really, really gonna like this one. I know you're a little bit of ways, but uh, definitely just a sharp car all the way around. Alrighty, well this is my walk around. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are if you have any questions. I will get started on uh, kind of that trade appraisal you had sent to me, so sorry for the delay in sending this but I just was with a customer, okay? So thanks so much, Kevin.